Welcome back. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. Tonight we air our second and final sit down interview with Edward Jarrow, the actor portraying Justice Antonin Scalia in the political drama play The Originalist. Jarrow tells Lauren Ashburn about his personal memories, including his shared Catholic faith with the late Justice. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. You and Justice Scalia share an Italian heritage and your Catholic faith, and you talked about faith with Justice Scalia. Tell me about those conversations. We had a good time about that. Um, he, uh, you know, I was an altar boy. My mother would want me to say that that's how I started out in this business. On the <laughs> Performing altar. on the on altar. The altar. <laughs> right. right. I'm thinking I was going to be a priest, and that changed. Um, but we talked about um, the, the great divide of the, of the Second Vatican Council. He's a Tridentine Mass man. Yes. Latin Mass. Latin Mass. Um, and he said, uh, I used to love to go to church and sing in the choir. And then suddenly the Vatican II happened and, and they were singing Kumbaya with guitars. I said, I didn't like the music. So I said, well, I'm <laughs> Talk a... about being a traditionalist. Oh, exactly. I said, well, I, I, made the, I made the transition having started with Latin Mass. And, and I was the guy playing the guitar, by the way. <laughs> you were the Kumbaya. <laughs> exactly. So we were clearly of a different generation. But... Um, we talked about the new pope. We talked about uh, Italy and the Vatican, and and uh, it was just a really you know he was very open about that. Well, you just said at one point you considered being a priest yeah. and went to the seminary. How does your faith guide this performance? Well, so much a part of who Scalia Nino was it was a deeply committed Roman Catholic. And the play deals with that. In fact, the characters in the play share Catholicism. The, the counter clerk is a bit of a fallen away Catholic. And part of uh, the character's goal is to recapture that and to have her find her sense of direction from her faith. And that comes to fruition in the play. So um, when we started rehearsals, we made a trip to the Basilica, lit a candle. Um, you know, I've been going to Mass a little bit more regularly now. <laughs> he'd, be very, to do he'd be very in the happy summer. to hear yes, that. Yes, okay. <laughs> but uh, no, it just, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain comfort level about it that I, I uh, uh, he made me at ease with it and, and actually got me interested again in, in a way. We have a picture of you, and we'll show right now, mm -hmm. of you paying your respects to Justice Scalia as he's lying in repose at mm -hmm. the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. What were you thinking at that moment? What was your prayer? I said a Hail Mary. It was a that was an extraordinary moment because we, uh, I was among the first group of Americans to get in line, and and I was there were cameras everywhere, and I didn't want to be recognized, but apparently I was, and uh, my wife and I were about to go in, and one of the uh, marshals said, "Wait," I said, "Just wait," and uh, he said, "Okay, go ahead," and we had the room to ourselves, oh. so it was incredibly overwhelming. And um, uh, I just uh, had such a profound sense of loss for not just personally, but what he meant to uh, the country. Um, he was such a smart, the smartest person I ever met in my life. And I was just grateful to have the time I had with him. So yeah, I've said a Hail Mary. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing your relationship with him. Thank you. With our audience. Thank you very much.